Hello, and welcome to this video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the best accessories that you could have with QuickBooks Online. Now, I'll be honest with you, this video has been a long time in the making, but that's because in theory, thinking about what the best accessories for QuickBooks Online would be, should be an absolute doddle, especially for someone like me who uses QuickBooks every single day. But then how do you quantify it? What is it that we should be looking out for to define what the best accessories is to use for QuickBooks? Now, let's split this into a few categories. First one is accessories for your computer be it a PC or Mac, whatever that's gonna be, or Google Chrome or Linux, as we showed in one of the previous videos, the best mobile device to use with QuickBooks, the best EPOS solution that can really work well with QuickBooks, and then finally, some just honorable mentions as well. So let's roll that intro, and let's make sure we know what the best accessory to make sure that you are as efficient on QuickBooks Online as you possibly can be. Roll the intro. <laughs> Hello, welcome to this video. My name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer, fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, and also head of account here at Bothix. Now in today's video, we're gonna be talking about what's the best accessories to use with QuickBooks Online. And when I think about accessories, what I think about are ways in which we can make sure that QuickBooks is as efficient as it possibly can be for you. So which devices out there are gonna make sure that you're using QuickBooks Online in the best possible way? Well, let's have a look at number one. So when it comes to accessories, what do I think about to make my life easier? Well, as I'm scrolling through here and interacting with QuickBooks by clicking on this button and clicking on that button, then the way I'm clicking and interacting with QuickBooks is so important. So me, the most important thing you're looking for in a mouse is this little scrolly thing just here. Now, it doesn't have to be as fancy as that mouse. This mouse here has the same functionality. With this one, you hold that button and when you hold this button, you can move it left and right and it will scroll vertically for you. That one will work. Apple's own magic mouse, well, that has a functionality where you can swipe left, swipe right. But for me, having this opportunity to have this scrolling mechanism here, which means it doesn't matter how long my report is, I still have more than enough options there to scroll through the whole report itself just by using my little scrolly button. I promise you, this becomes an absolute game changer. This little thing directly here becomes an absolute game changer. And also on this mouse as well, which is the, just so everyone knows, which is the MX Master 3, the also on this mouse as well are two little buttons here. And what I find these buttons for are as follows. Now, by selecting and using this button here, what I'm effectively doing now is I'm copying that transaction. So again, I select the number and I mapped that button for a copy because copy is so important. Now, if I had say a sales receipt and I needed to figure out what the deposit is, I press the other button and it pastes the ones in. Maybe I only want to paste one at a time. I can then choose what the VAT code is, press save. And as quick as that, I've now reconciled this amount up here. So as you can see, getting the right mouse is really important for how efficient you're gonna be within QuickBooks Online. But what else have we got that we can utilize? Well, let's have a look. Closely followed by the mouse that you wanna be utilizing has got to be what keyboard you have. And to me, the most important aspect of a keyboard is gonna be the number pad on the side here. Too many times I see people utilizing QuickBooks without a number pad having to use these numbers at the top. Not great. It doesn't have to be this Apple keyboard here. Prior to the Apple keyboard, I absolutely loved the same keyboard that came with the mouse that we've already looked at. This one here, not only had a nice little rotatory button here, which you could have done for vertical scrolling or anything like that, but it had a lovely feel to it as well. Crucially, on the right side is the keypad. Now, pro tip for people out there who don't have a keyboard, I found this little accessory here the wireless smart keypad by Sasachi. And this is your typical calculator, does everything a calculator would do, but has Bluetooth connectivity. So when I'm out about on my laptop and I don't have a keypad with me, well, I can bring this along with me. I can keypad to my heart's content. My favorite bits about this as well is it had a send button. So I could actually do the calculator here, I'm really happy with it, press send, and then that figure will 
and get its way into QuickBooks Online. Okay, keyboards and mice are pretty self-explanatory. There are better ones out there than others, but ultimately, if you get the right keyboard or the right mice, you're gonna be more efficient. Again, keep an eye out for the scrolliness, keep an eye out for extra buttons, and you're gonna be able to make sure you're as efficient as you possibly can by using QuickBooks Online. But what else is there? Though a dedicated piece of hardware, I find really, really useful. This here is what we call the Stream Deck. And if I switch it over to QuickBooks mode, it's got all these buttons associated on here. Now this is the Stream Deck. Now it's got a load of buttons on here, but basically these buttons are designed to give me shortcuts for QuickBooks Online. And as I press one of the corresponding buttons, something happens on QuickBooks. So for example, here I've got my chart of accounts just appearing as soon as I press the chart of accounts button. So if you spend your time configuring this correctly, you can actually create yourself a really powerful tool to help you with QuickBooks itself. That there is what's called the Steam Deck, but there are others on the market as well, including this one called Loop Deck. Um, I've actually got around to utilizing this one or playing around with this one, but it's the same idea. These buttons are all gonna be configurable. I can do what I like with them. I also get some spinny buttons here and some other tactile buttons just there. Of the Steam Deck and with this as well, we'll probably get this in a future video, but I think it's gonna be a video well worth looking into. So if you're not already, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Now this next one is quite niche. It's not something that everybody will ever need, but I find it really useful. This one is the Elgato HD 60S Plus, but effectively it's a capture card. There's loads of different capture cards on the market. Why is that important? Well, on this side is an attachment that I can plug into my phone or any other mobile device. And this attachment side here goes into my laptop. That means that at any point, I don't have to rely on screen capture technology or anything like that. If I want to show my phone to a client or to a training or whatever it's gonna be, because I wanna show QuickBooks Online the app, then I just use this, plug this in, and I'm off to the races. And I promise you, something like this, if you're doing a lot of training on the mobile app or you're trying to encourage people to use the mobile app, getting something like this will just be the difference between sometimes it works perfectly and sometimes it doesn't to each and every time you want it to work, it just works. This piece of equipment has been an absolute lifesaver to me many a time. Okay, the next one's pretty simple. Your mobile phone. Why? Well, you grab your app out, and you have to race us to get an access to QuickBooks while at the same time you have to snap receipts, record mileage, etc. I've done loads of content on this one, so I'm not going to go too much in detail, but ultimately the best accessory is going to be the one you have with you the most amount of time. So if it's going to be the main phone that you have, or if like me, you have a separate phone that you just use for QuickBooks itself, and pretty much that's all it's going to be for, because again, you want to try and encourage your clients to be able to utilize the software. Maybe you're a little bit crazy, and on the Android side of things, again, covered in a different video, but you can have some really cool form factor, which might actually encourage you to use the mobile app more often. I certainly know that this particular form factor works really well. I can have QuickBooks on one side, and maybe a note-taking app on the other, and suddenly I've got a great device to be able to quickly go through and do multitasking on one device. The mobile phone that works best for you is always gonna be the one that's in your pocket. But sometimes getting the right mobile phone is gonna be the best way for you to be able to utilize QuickBooks in the most efficient manner. For me, either having two screens or even a separate device that's just for QuickBooks, for me, improves the efficiency of using QuickBooks on mobile. But it doesn't just stop there. There's also the world of tablets. Now either it's gonna be your traditional iPad, which to this day is by far probably one of the most powerful devices that will ever use QuickBooks Online. This itself has plenty of accessories, I mean from a keyboard to anything else, to even the Android side of tablets as well, to possibly the most versatile piece of hardware that QuickBooks has ever known. This here is what's called an iPad Pro. Handily comes along with its own little keyboard, useful and trackpad, just attach it if I want it to be just an iPad. And not only can this run the mobile app, which we all know and love, but I can use the full version of QuickBooks as well. And if you saw it on a different video, I can actually 
rock up to a TV and monitor, plug this in, and it's just like working on a full screen. And best of all, I don't even need Wi-Fi. This particular model has a cellular connection, so whack in the SIM card, get yourself some 4G, 5G, and you've got the ultimate portable working solution. Quickbox has never been so user-friendly and accessible on a device like this. But then it doesn't stop there, because if you're gonna use QuickBooks to its fullest, then you need to be able to use it at any place you are. You see, one of the advantages of cloud technology is you could do it anywhere in the world. As long as you've got an active internet connection, then you should be good to go. So for me, the right laptop's important. This for me is the ultimate in terms of the laptop of choice when it comes to portability. Light, powerful, M2 MacBook. Seems to have never ending amount of battery in it. And if you've got your phone with you and on iPhone as well, you can connect to the internet in no problem, keeping you connected. On the Windows side, you literally have unlimited options as well. A device like this, which is from the Surface family, means that you've got kind of iPad and keyboard all in one solution. And go for the right version. You can even have this with SIM card cellular connection. So really for me, when it comes down to what's the best accessory to go with when it comes to your mobile devices, again, the one that's always with you is always gonna be useful, so make sure that has connection to QuickBooks at any time. But if it's about which one to take with you, you can look at what's gonna be the most versatile. A strong iPad will be the most versatile of all of them. Okay, so we've covered the best accessories for getting the most efficiency at QuickBooks, either on the road or while you're at your desk. But what about hardware that really helps expand what QuickBooks can do? What about hardware that's gonna help you and your business? Well, for me, nothing says that more than the opportunity to look at putting an EPOS solution into QuickBooks. Now, when you go into QuickBooks itself, now if you head over to Sales, Overview, and notice on the setup section, it does prompt you to get paid anywhere with a card reader. And because there's a partnership involved with QuickBooks Online at this point in time, to get yourself up and running with a solution called Zettel. Now, Zettel, owned by PayPal, is an EPOS solution. You can either have this particular device here, which connects to your mobile phone or your iPad. I mean, the mobile phone or iPad is the one doing all the hard work. So as long as you've got an internet connection, you're gonna be able to take, uh, take payments and many more, including SumUp and people like that. Now we've already done videos on this, but basically the TDLR of the videos that I've already done is that the ecosystem, something like Square, is actually probably the best on the market at the moment. Problem is you can't connect this natively to QuickBooks, you have to use a third party solution. And there's lots of third party solutions out there, but we've done videos on that already. But ultimately your decision's gonna be, is an EPOS solution that's gonna connect to QuickBooks to get the information into QuickBooks automatically, either with a standalone PUC sort of idea like this one, where again, you're connecting this to your iPad or your iPhone or your Android device, or a standalone device like this one. And this standalone device here, in my humble opinion, is one of the best devices on the market for a small business. It's pretty much got its own mobile phone built directly into it, but it's got a printer already in incorporated there. It's got your whole tap to pay just here. And this solution can be used to run the front end of, of most retail businesses out there. As you can see, it pretty much looks like a mobile phone when you first get it up and running. Keeping to the eyes at all side of things as well, a really capable device, but as you'll see in some of my previous videos, there's a few limitations to them. Ultimately, the software on these at the moment are letting it down, but at least software is something that can be fixed. So hopefully we'll see that this software at some point will be built up and give us more functionality in here because this connects natively directly to QuickBooks Online, which effectively means that at this point in time, just this one device, Every time you make a sale, it can effectively appear directly in QuickBooks Online without you having to do anything. Now that's what I call an efficient accessory for QuickBooks Online. When it comes to EPOS though, one of the best devices on the market, in my humble opinion, is the iPad Mini paired with the Square Reader here, all in this wonderful enclosed space. This currently seems to be the best of both worlds. You get the best software because it's directly built into the iPad and it's got everything in there that you'll ever need. And you still get access to make payments while on the go. And if you have this with a iPad that has cellular connection, then you really do have everything you've ever needed all in one device. So I've been 
recommending this solution to a lot of clients at the moment and they're absolutely loving the versatility of what it offers. Now there are other items to consider. For me, a great scanner can be really useful. Look on QuickBooks Online, under the banking, receipt section, you have the option to upload documents to your computer. And these documents will automatically be read. So if you've got lots and lots of invoices or receipts or anything, having a brilliant scanner will be a huge investment for you. I'll try to put a link up here, the one we went for, but effectively we went from your standard scanner that you get on the side of a printer to this, and it completely changed the game. A decent scanner will be able to scan multiple documents at the same time. It'll be able to automatically rotate, it'll be able to automatically name, it'll be able to automatically save you time. So getting the right scanner, get investing in the proper scanner and making a scanner that works for you can be a huge time saver and makes it so much more efficient for you and your business. So please do look at a scanner. And while you're looking at a scanner, don't forget as well, a good printer. If I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I do believe in the world of not actually having to print anything out anymore. So I would much prefer to send my invoices by email, but that's not the case for every business. A lot of businesses still need a good printer. So my final bit of advice is if you are still printing out your invoices and send them out, just invest in a decent one that's going to be able to make your life easier. And there we have it, a handful of accessories that will make you more efficient at using QuickBooks Online. Let me know below, is there anything I've missed? Is there anything that you're using that actually helps your way now this video was supposed to be quick and easy to see all these accessories out there and how they can improve you and the way that you use QuickBooks. So if there's anything out there that you think needs more information on or you want me to go into more detail on of any device I've talked about today, drop a comment in below and then we'll make sure that we revisit in its own dedicated video. Right, that is it. That is the accessories that I believe make it easier to use QuickBooks than ever before. It's all about efficiency. It's all about making the most of the time we have. And the right accessory can definitely do that. Don't forget to head over to our sister channel, Boffix, because over at Boffix, we've done a lot more in terms of those EPOS solutions. So you might be able to find some more information to help you make a decision. And that's it, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and all that sort of stuff. The support that you guys have been given lately has been out of this world, and I can't wait to be able to continue this journey with you. So please like, share, support, all that sort of stuff so we can continue to grow this channel. My name has been Alan Patrick. I have been the QuickBooks Chap, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.